Hello friends, in this video we will make the complex tris-ethylene-diamine cobalt-3 chloride. It is a coordination compound of cobalt-3 plus with the ligand ethylene-diamine. Materials required for this preparation includes 9 ml of ethylene-diamine, 12 grams of cobalt 2 chloride, 8.5 ml of 6 molar hydrochloric acid and 10 ml of 30% hydrogen peroxide. 12 grams of cobalt 2 chloride was placed in a beaker on a stir plate. A stir bar was then introduced and then 35 ml of distilled water was added to make a solution of cobalt 2 chloride. Next, a 100 ml beaker is placed in an ice bath and 9 ml of ethylene diamine was added to it. Ethylene diamine, as you can see, fumes in air and is quite toxic. Stirring was turned on and then 25 ml of distilled water was added to make a solution of ethylene diamine. Some amount of water was used to wash the graduated cylinder to remove the complete reactant without mechanical loss. You can see a lot of fumes coming out and you should definitely be doing this outside or in a fume hood. Now add the 8.5 ml of 6 molar hydrochloric acid. Take the cobalt 2 chloride solution and into it was added the previously made ethylene diamine solution with the hydrochloric acid in it. Now add 10 ml of 30% hydrogen peroxide solution using a dropper very slowly into the mixture. It will convert all the cobalt 2 plus to cobalt 3 plus. This will also heat up a lot so avoid adding the peroxide all at once as it can cause bumping over the solution. Once the addition is complete, boil down the solution to about half of its volume and then let it sit to cool down. After cooling down to room temperature, 50 ml almost double the amount of volume of 37% hydrochloric acid was added and then add 100 ml of 96% ethyl alcohol. This will cause the complex to precipitate out of the solution. I am using a spatula to stir it up because my magnetic steering bar got stuck inside the precipitate. You can see the nice orange color of the compound. Now we filter the solution. I am using a simple gravity filtration method. And here we have the crude product. Now to recrystallize the compound. The recrystallization of this compound is very easy and it can be done using hot boiling water. This compound is soluble in hot water. So almost all the compound was added to the hot boiling water. I am taking around 50 milliliters of water here. On cooling, the crystals separate out, which I then dried using tissue paper. And this is the final product, Trisethylene Diamine Cobalt 3 Chloride. Hope you have enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like this video. Here are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me to do more videos. I know all of you are supporting me by watching my video, but I really need help from these kind of people to keep my channel forward. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. Links of both of them are given in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.